So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel if you're a user of Redmi Note 8 Redmi Note 8 Indonesia stable the latest updated version is here which we have installed on our device it comes with only one major change which is a February security patch but nothing else but kind of a very disappointment but if you talk about the speed and the smoothness this is quite great and this is just great i'm using it redmi note 8 from approximately more than a year now and this update is one of the smoothest ones i don't feel any kind of a single lag you can see the control center is pretty smooth and after a minute 12 update that was quite laggy or you can say in two or three days after that the control center became very laggy but in this update this is quite great and of course you are noticing there are some things which are kind of a disappointed things as you can see the control center colors and some other things which i'm gonna share with you let me share with you once this that this is me a global 12 point open to stable version based on android version 10 it's not android version 11 update unfortunately but that's also not the biggest android version 11 will come with the mini 12.5 but yes mini 12 android 11 for india india stable it's available there i think so or global stable it's available but for indonesia stable it's not available this is indonesia stable if you are indonesian user you might can install this update via ota or you can use this update on your other devices like redmi note it's other region variants like china or global you can install this from the custom recovery if you want to for example let me show you one more thing like in my case this is indonesia stable but yes it's kind of a global stable so yes the theme store is kind of a same one english theme store is there but doesn't have any kind of advanced feature as expectedly by going to my page you can go to theme store you still don't have any option to import themes this is the stock one but there might be some things i just wanted to let you know about this update nothing else to talk about this update much but yes some features which are missing from here for example if you move on to the additional settings if you go for the full screen display if you use the full screen gestures there's no pill still no pill no full screen gestures no new animations no floating windows yes a very disappointing thing for the indonesia users everything almost is missing from here so you can say the global stable india stable are quite good enough to use as a daily driver but if you talk about the performance and smoothness this is one of the smoothest ever update for the redmi note 8 users it's smoothest i am using some time the touch response everything seems to be great even it has a very very weird and old ui as you can see in home screen regular with app drawer the ui is quite old and everything is almost updated right now and they're still giving kind of an old ui with app wall etc and no option of changing the recents everything almost is missing so if you still want to install this it's just up to you i don't think so there's anything about installation but yes of course if you're looking for the smoothness this is quite good and smooth enough and if you want to use the smoothest room you can use this comes with the system apps updater we have many updates options already available i haven't updated yet but i didn't saw anything update or any, any good update regarding the settings and like you know me launcher etc no updates so this is kind of an updated one and every feature is almost missing just i liked about this thing is the performance and smoothness but nothing else about that Talking about the camera, camera even doesn't come with many new kind of features, has the same kind of UI, but the good thing is at least it has some UI 12 camera, but no extra features there, only short video, 48 megapixel, panorama, slow motion, the things you get here, but the no UI changes, you don't get any option at the top of this camera options, and so everything is almost a disappointing thing you can say. These are some interesting things, some basic things, some different things you get here etc same kind of options there's nothing to talk about this update if you're talking about some other things it comes with the miui 11 file manager it doesn't come with the miui 12 file manager even the file manager is miui 11 and the launcher is kind of miui 11 no full screen gestures no blur and everything kind of a disappointing if you still want to install this as i previously told you link is in the description you can install via ota update you can install via the recovery update also so if you want to install this as an ota update you must be on indonesia stable 12.0.1 if you want to install from recovery or if you're using a redmi note china variant india variant global variant whatever else 
you can still install this build from a custom recovery so link for the custom recovery as well as the other like redmi uh, other like ota everything is in the description thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video goodbye have a nice day